This is a cat track road recumbent trike. It was built, I think, in the year 2005. It has a manufacturing number of, uh, I think, 250. You can just about read it on the label. What I'm hoping to do is to convert it to electric. As you can see, it has a nine gear rear wheel, 20 inch, as you can see in the photo. Unfortunately, the only wheel I've got to convert it with is a 26 inch with seven gears, or 26 inches, sorry, which obviously is going to be hard to sit fit into the frame. As you can see on the frame, when I offer the wheel up to it, there's about a four inch gap between the frame and where the uh, wheel's got to connect to. So what I'm going to do is build a bracket, which will extend the frame so I can actually mount the wheel onto the trike. My aim is to make the bracket in such a way that it doesn't have to be drilled or fixed to the frame at all because I don't want to weaken the frame. So what we've done is actually cut the metal in such a way that it snugly fits into that sort of egg-shaped cup there and the bolt goes into where the original wheel was bolted. So uh, using uh, the old paper method of marking it out and cutting it with and then obtaining two bits of old metal here and using a hacksaw and a file, old school, I managed to make two brackets which allowed me to fit the wheel to the frame. Uh, and as you can see it actually sits in there better than what I thought. We had to use a few washers so the wheel mounted in the center as seen in the photo again. The chain obviously had to be extended. That's the electrical box which we fitted uh, on the frame uh, and the control panel and the throttle. I'm not going to fit PAS, pedal assist device, because I think that would be too complicated. We mounted the uh, control panel on the left hand side, having to make my own little bracket again and the throttle which I mounted upside down on top of the gear change and cut it down so it only uses uh, battery power. Well, unfortunately I didn't have no lithium batteries but I managed to get hold of four 12 volt lead acid mobility batteries. We did try mounting them on the pannier on the top but it made the bike so top heavy and unstable so we decided to uh, make a bracket as shown again not drilling into the frame of the bike whatsoever just use two u-bolts and fixed it to the frame uh, put another bracket in front of it and made two wooden boxes to mount the batteries in my carpentry skills out of 10 I think score about two but I'm, I'm looking for a, a Tupperware type box that I can fit there instead of the wooden ones so the battery boxes look a bit nicer. Here we go the batteries all fitted in the boxes and wired up put a little 30 amp fuse in line just to make sure and here we are trying it out as you can see we push the center button, power on, the batteries are fully charged, the PAS button works but pointless really because I don't have a PAS system on the bike. Over the other side is where I put the throttle and as you can see I mounted the throttle upside down above the gear change move the GoPro adapter out of the way and so you can actually change the gear on the bottom bit 
and use the throttle control on the top. And as soon as you release the throttle control, it goes back to zero. So I decided not to put the other brake levers on that automatically stop the motor because as soon as you take your hand off the throttle it stops. I did go in and program the programmer so the maximum speed was 20 miles an hour. There's loads of videos on YouTube to show you how to do that. As you can see with no load on the bike at all, it goes at about 23. miles per hour. Yeah. You might have to buy a trainer, a bike trainer if you took it. So you could put some load on the rear wheel. And when we put the load on the rear wheel and put the throttle up, the speed went down. There's the bike converted, all I need now is to take it out for a road test, uh, hopefully hope to do that in the next couple of days and I'll make another video so we can see it on the road.